If you dump stones into the sea, you can build a seaside plaza on top of them. But as more and more tourists arrive, people standing in the back never get a clear view. That's when a clever idea takes shape. What if the center sections rise step by step? Now visitors farther back can move on to higher platforms without being blocked. These height changes form layered terraces, linked by stairways on both sides, creating multiple platforms that all face the ocean. To enrich the space even further, two sunken areas are carved into the center, complete with stepped seating and a stage, cover them with a roof, and they transform into two massive event halls. But a plain rectangular roof feels lifeless. So imagine slicing an orange and standing the pieces upright, half leaning forward, half leaning back. Suddenly the roof looks like sails catching the wind, or seashells rising from the sea. The curves seem impossibly complex, until the design is simplified by projecting each orange slice onto a sphere with a 75 meter radius. Now every curve shares the same shape, making construction straight forward. Workers assemble identical steel frames and lay concrete panels with matching curvature, perfectly forming the orange petal shells. Add a matching restaurant nearby and the entire complex comes together. And just like that, you've created one of the most iconic buildings on earth, the Sydney Opera House.